Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. The release of Kristen Baver's new book, Skywalker, A Family at War, which dropped just a few days ago, provided Star Wars fans with a potential Easter egg that might be teasing what's to come in the upcoming Disney Plus series, Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi. Skywalker, A Family at War chronicles the history of the Skywalker family and spans the entire Skywalker saga. The book explains that Obi-Wan Kenobi learned to contact his former master, Qui-Gon Jinn, using the Force, but that it took him roughly 10 years after the events of Star Wars. Wars Revenge of the Sith to do so, which would also approximately line up with the timeline of the upcoming Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Here's an excerpt from the book. Before he and Yoda had parted ways, the old Jedi revealed that Obi-Wan's beloved master Qui-Gon Jinn had returned from the netherworld of the Force, manifesting his conscious mind even after death. It took 10 years, but eventually Obi-Wan was able to commune with his dearest friend, resurrected within the cosmic Force. The ending of Revenge of the Sith hinted that Qui-Gon had learned the ability to commune through the Force and Seasons 3 and 6 of The Clone Wars also showcased Qui-Gon's ability to communicate through the Force. Additionally, we've also gotten several examples in canon that showcase Obi-Wan communicating with Force Ghost Qui-Gon. For instance, the short story Master and Apprentice from the 2017 canon novel From a Certain Point of View provides insight into Obi-Wan's conversation with Force Ghost Qui-Gon Jinn during the events of A New Hope. However, Skywalker A Family at War explaining that it took Obi-Wan 10 years after Revenge of the Sith to master the ability to speak with his dead Jedi Master through the Force is new information. Prior to that, it hadn't been stated how long it took Obi-Wan to learn the ability to speak to Qui-Gon through the Force. While this could be me grasping at straws, the fact that it took Obi-Wan 10 years to master this ability, which just so happens to line up with the timeline of the upcoming Obi-Wan series, seems almost too much of a coincidence to brush off. Furthermore, the fact that Skywalker A Family at War just dropped and production for the Obi-Wan series is just beginning also makes makes it seem like this easter egg is really dropping a clue at what's to come in Obi-Wan Kenobi. Lucasfilm has done a really good job in recent years of planting easter eggs in comics or books that are hinting at future projects, so I could 100% see this as Lucasfilm Publishing planting the seeds that will culminate with fans getting to see Obi-Wan speaking to Force Ghost Qui-Gon. Although actor Liam Neeson, who portrayed Qui-Gon in The Phantom Menace, was not listed as a cast member when the cast for Obi-Wan was revealed, I think it's very plausible that the series shows Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon speaking to each other, which would be incredible. Nielsen did, however, confirm earlier this year that he'd be open to playing Qui-Gon again. Part of this series could showcase how Obi-Wan came to grips with Anakin's fall to the dark side in Revenge of the Sith, and Qui-Gon could help Obi-Wan in that process to reconcile with the failure he feels in allowing Anakin to become Darth Vader. How perfect would it be to show Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon speaking about Anakin and all that transpired? In the aforementioned short story Master and Apprentice, Qui-Gon told Obi-Wan that that it was he, not Obi-Wan, who had failed Anakin after he placed the burden of training Anakin upon Obi-Wan before he was even a Jedi Knight. Additionally, since we know that Hayden Christensen is reprising his role as Darth Vader, it makes sense that director Deborah Chow would use the actor to show flashback scenes of Anakin. I mean, why cast Hayden Christensen to play Darth Vader if all he's going to do is portray the character in Darth Vader's suit? Any actor could have been casted for that kind of role. If there are flashback scenes featuring Anakin in the show, I have to imagine that it'll be because part of the story is showing Obi-Wan grappling and coming to terms with what happened to his apprentice, and including Qui-Gon into this part of the story seems like it's too good of an opportunity to pass up. Now, all of this could mean nothing, and Skywalker A Family at War could be doing nothing more than stating it took Obi-Wan 10 years to master the ability to speak to his Force Ghost Master. I just think that it's too much of a coincidence to brush aside. It'll be some time before we know if Qui-Gon will indeed appear in Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi but I love the idea that we may get to see the fallen Jedi in the show. But what do you guys think? Do you think we'll see Qui-Gon appear as a Force Ghost in Obi-Wan Kenobi? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Dan's on Fandoms. Thanks for watching, and stay nerdy.